Hi, my name is Melanie and I'm a meteorologist here at Meteomatics. Today I want to show you our web-based visualization tool Medex that uses data coming from our API. In order to use Medex, you only need a browser and your login credentials for our API. If you don't have a username and password yet, please contact our support. So let's get started. Open your browser and type medex.mediomatics.com and you will be greeted with the welcome screen of Medex. Simply put in your username and your password and Medex opens with your welcome screen containing your dashboards. This page is personalized for each user where you have your own dashboards and also four predefined dashboards that give you some basic idea of what Medex is capable of. To create a new dashboard, simply click Create Dashboard and give the dashboard a name. And it opens by default with a map of the world. You can click and hold to move the map around or you can scroll to zoom in and out of the map. If you hover your mouse over the top or the bottom, the control buttons appear. Here in the top left corner, you can change the name of the dashboard or by double clicking on the tab, you can give the tab a new name. And here in the top right corner, you have all the control buttons. The first one is the layer stack. If you click on it, the stack opens and you can change everything about the map. The stack can be moved around and you can rename your map which appears then on the top right corner. You can also change the style of the title, make it bigger or change the color. You can change the projection of the world, for example, to globe. And you can change the cartographic material if you want to have another background of the map. Here in the layer stack, you can also add the parameters you want to see on the map. So let's add one. We start with a color map. You can also choose between a lot of other visualizations. And we want to see, for example, the temperature. So just type temperature. And then you can choose between all the different parameters we have in the API containing something that has to do with temperature. We want to start with the Temperature on two meters above ground in degrees Celsius. You can also choose others and apply it to the map. And you see that the temperature is now displayed over the whole globe. You can also add, for example, isolines if you are interested in the mean sea level pressure, for example. Just add that to your map. Choose here the unit and I'll apply it. And now you see all the different isolines and you can even add, for example, weather symbols and have a nice overview of the weather on the globe. You can also hide different parameters in the layer stack if you don't want to see them anymore. For example, simply hide the weather symbols and you can also hide the total layer stack or the legend here at the bottom, you can control the time. If you simply click on the time, you can choose a date. You want to see the parameters, for example, Saturday, and you can choose between the local or UTC time zone. And you can jump back to today if you want and simply apply it. Or you can move the time by the control buttons down here. And finally, you can also make an animation where you can choose the start and end date of your animation and the times and also the interval. The second button up here are the tab settings. Here you can add a second map or you can even have four maps and one picture. You can choose again in each of the tiles between a map and a plot. So let's choose a map. And if you go to 
the layer stack again. You see now that there are two maps in here. And if you want to have the same as in the first one, you can simply copy the layers and paste them down here. And the same appears in the second tile of your map. You can also add a plot. Then you see down here that there are features that control your plot here. For example, the date time or the location. And you can add also different parameters to the plot down here. The third button is the import export button. Here you can import or export dashboards or you can download the image that you just created. This one is a very important button. Don't forget to save your dashboard before you leave it so that you can catch up where you left. Here you can search for a location in your map, for example, St. Gallen, and then you move to St. Gallen. And the last one is your account where you can change your language or simply sign out. If you want to have more detailed examples, please refer to our other videos where we have some examples prepared for you or contact us to obtain a trial login to play around with our MedEx.